Hey adventurers and welcome to another War of Imperium session here in Ragnarok Online GGH. We are your casters. My name is James. And my name is MG. Let's go. And uh, yes, uh, we are back and we are now showing <laughs> our beautiful faces yeah. for tonight's stream. Hopefully, yeah. you all have a wonderful day yeah. today. And uh, you know, to to uh, summarize it all off, of course, uh, you know, you should watch our... Warf Imperium player tonight <laughs> in GGH. Yes, definitely. And definitely we're gonna see a lot of uh you know guilds right now. And I think Adonis will be uh will be present for today. They just cap um Fagrid. So mm -hmm. we're gonna see a um we're gonna see them in action again, so I'm pretty excited for this. Yes, and I think a uh, purple dominary right now. They want to take advantage that Adonis just captured mm -hmm. it. And uh, maybe they want to contest this castle, right, <laughs> of the bat since Fadgrid, uh, you know that uh, usually this is Adonis' first pick yeah. as the castle that oh. they want to take. But if not Fadgrid, uh, they want to go in Kremhild. <clears throat> but right now, Kremhild is occupied by goons. goons. This castle, Fadgrid, was occupied. And again, it's, it was it occupied was. by Arsenal earlier. Yeah. But got captured right now by Adonis. <coughs> and now Purple Dominari wants to take advantage <coughs> of this fact and they want to push this castle to take Adonis out. Yeah. Alright? So if you are now viewing the stream, uh, I'd like to uh, encourage you all and uh, to like and follow the page, share yeah. the stream as well, and make sure to join the ROGGH Discord yes. if you want to invite other people to join in on the stream as well make sure you do so since uh you know the more the merrier here in the stream <laughs> will be um greatly appreciated by us and roggh of course yeah. <laughs> and of course uh to have more people in Definitely. because uh, a lot of you commenting and the uh, chatting <clears throat> will uh be more lively exactly <laughs> yep all okay. right so i i mean if we're talking about Fagrid, first thing that uh, comes in my mind is Adonis, because I think uh, they've been uh, like they've been a very active on this castle uh, like since day one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think they're very familiar about the defense here, <laughs> and yeah, I think this is gonna be an even number and gonna be an interesting fight coming from um, ooh, from uh, Purple Dominari and Adonis right now. Mm -hmm, but Curse Circle coming from the Sura of Adonis, but Arsenal just wants to come in as well. Mm -hmm. We have Adonis still defending this castle. Uh, none yeah. of the Dominari members are willing to push in right now since uh, they noticed that Adonis has a lot of players inside defending. And Adonis has been known for having only small numbers but trying to compete with a larger guild. So right now, of course, they want to do their best to conquer and capture or uh, to sustain this castle but uh, later on we'll be seeing them conquer a different castle because uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure if they get mobbed by uh, <coughs> sorry a like very very large yeah. guild or a large large number of people they will have a hard time defending this castle like so, yes um, yeah and, and at the same time I really like the defense of what they're doing right now um, you have like those ground players on the first level of this um, of this room wherein you have the suras you have the gx as well contesting those players who's trying to go in while you have your warlocks you have your um your archbishop at the top or the higher ground here hmm. providing a damage and uh, dispels as well so yeah this is gonna be a like a really hard push here if you have like the same numbers versus adonis you will choose either you uh you fight the sura or the GX, or you go into the, the main stack and disrupt their uh, their dispels and uh, their dragons uh, dragons breath. I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. But you, you just mentioned MG that there are ground players. Are there flying ones? <laughs> like high ground, like there are. Oh, oh, oh okay, okay. okay, 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> Those flying. I thought players. there. I know there were flying players, but shout out to every everyone in the chat right now. Uh, Let's go. Michelle coming there first. Uh, glad to have you have you in the stream uh, tuning in for today. Shout yeah. out to Nemesis Armada said Jonathan. Let's hello, go, hello. Nemesis. And yes, right now Purple Dominary just preparing to push in 
on Adonis but uh, we all know that Adonis has something planned right now they might go in use that curse circle because that's what has been scouting once yes. again maybe they're preparing that mechanic to use that uh, suicidal destruction yeah. later on just as long as they catch everyone from uh, Dominari off guard but if they do that they will suffer a little bit because their defense will fall if they remove a bit of their players inside yes. but a uh, dominari starting to push in go. right now we have that mechanic just trying to push in that metal gear cannon. not really casting anything but will get taken down by uh, adonis right here <clears throat> purple dominari not <clears throat> really pushing in right now maybe we have players from adonis who pushed out to uh you know to yeah. manage everyone from uh, Purple Dominari right exactly. there. And I think Purple Dominari will regroup once again to go in for another push. Yes, I think that uh, Mad earlier was like um, half-hearted on pushing because he, he just realized that there's no one on the uh, first level of that uh, of that mm -hmm. room. Um, no one is actually gonna, you know, um, like take the damage of that uh, suicidal destruction. So maybe he just, uh, you know, B-Wing or let me Adonis uh, kill him. Mm -hmm. But uh, since Adonis is just defending this castle right now, uh, MG, let's actually go to Kremhild Castle since Opus Day is here as well as Arsenal. <coughs> and the Goons is the castle holder. So uh, let's actually check that out right now. Okay, oh. and <coughs> 7v7, said Michelle. Actually, oh, oh. we are just as excited as you guys. <laughs> All right, I am, we're just as excited I as am, you guys. Just what? I I mean I am excited, like super you are, excited. Oh okay okay yeah. all right. So I think we're everyone is excited for seven v seven, and it will happen soon. I gotta tell you, it will happen soon. But uh, you know, as uh, everyone is still preparing for seven v seven, and uh, you know, it the date will be set soon. So mm -hmm. uh, just make sure you stay tuned and. Uh, Follow ROGGH and make sure to join the ROGGH Discord for uh, up-to-date yes. updates about the the events and what's happening here in the server. But right now, since uh, you know it's a War of Imperium, let's actually just focus on War of Imperium for now. Since uh, there are going to be um, a few guilds right now who want to compete to get those uh, specific items that they need to craft those god items. Oh. The god items mm. yes we mentioned it last yeah. saturday that there are already god items uh the god items can already be crafted uh in the game all yes. right so it was an update last mm. thursday uh, last week all right mm -hmm. because uh the god item and uh i think i call that the god item update right? the, i call yes. that god item yes, update yes. because you can now craft god items and uh we, we will actually go in more into that later on as yep. we are going to show the items or the the effect of the items you can craft or the god items um stats and effects yes um yeah i have a question uh, james like do you think that um goons is actually choosing the right place to defend this castle like they're um this is like a, um a different approach in defending because mm -hmm. we know that um dominari last nightmare um, Arsenal um, is actually holding the first map on this one, like the outside of uh, of Prem Hill. But Goons and Opus Day is taking this different way. They're just uh, they just gonna go in on this on the third level of this uh, of this castle. Uh huh. So what's but uh, is this a good idea coming from uh, Goons or they should go out and uh... actually this is the safest way to defend uh, the portal defense in the preempt area. But before we actually <laughs> dive into that defense of Goons and Opus Day right now, actually last nightmare is here at Fadgrid Castle at the entrance, so uh, we could check it out as well because there are a lot of people i think they just want to contest the castle here of adonis right now Ooh. purple dominari also trying to push in we can see a uh, bit bits of members from dominari right there mm -hmm. but if last nightmare though if they decide to push in on adonis uh <coughs> i'm not really sure what will happen to adonis right there since last nightmare has a lot of numbers right now and i think they are really planning to get a lot of items to craft those god items yes. that they needed to be more powerful in ROGGH. 
Yes, I think uh, that will really uh, boost their um, their characters a lot in terms of uh, in TV and the same time for um, GVG and the same time for uh, mm -hmm. for the Warf Imperium as well. So having those key items like God items on your character will actually help a lot. It will, it will. And right now though, last sniper slowly pushing in, just walking, casually walking inside. Casually. And uh, this is a good way to regroup. Um, uh, actually, not a lot of guilds are doing this, just regrouping after yes. a portal. Because it's a good way to regroup, just defend that portal, make sure no one comes in from behind. And wait for all of your members to actually enter that portal first before mm -hmm. pushing in inside the castle. It's actually a good way to uh, what do you call this? Like um, to have a big push at the same time, because mm -hmm. we have noticed uh, from the previous guilds that we watch, um, they're losing members one by one because they don't want to uh, regroup on specific area. They just want to regroup on the uh, preempt mostly. So mm -hmm. having uh, seeing this um, this um, regroup coming from last time it's actually a good sign that they're very disciplined mm -hmm. and uh, coordinated when it comes to um to fights yes but right now though the positioning of last nightmare is a little bit dangerous right there uh, yeah. um if someone from adonis decides to push out and use that curse circle and probably use that suicidal destruction once again since we know that they do this a lot yes okay so there's that sura just trying to scout and making sure everyone, if uh, they are going to do something, everyone from last nightmare will get affected. But they, uh, maybe they will opt for a more traditional type of defense since that Sura mm -hmm. is just scouting. Then probably that Sura <coughs> will use uh, that curse circle later on to stop the, uh, the pushes coming from last nightmare yes. right there. Dragon's Breath will land, come from last nightmare. Oof. And look at the swarm coming from last nightmare. No hold. land protectors as of yet on the ground, but we have those Numas just to protect, protect last SD? nightmare from the long range attacks. But Adonis is trying to hold on. Oh! And we still have Adonis holding on to the back lane right now while uh, the numbers of oh. last nightmare are getting reduced to bits as we have a lot of floor skills just right now. Wow, the, the sustain there, the the GX. Actually, everyone is uh is like they're just doing their job right now, and everyone is um in sync on defending versus last nightmare. Last nightmare didn't put any land protector you mentioned earlier. Yes, and that could actually um um it could actually went their way if they actually put something just to defend those uh Roy uh RKs on their side. So I'm not sure yes. what happened there. Uh, we saw that Sura earlier coming from Adonis. Yeah, he was probably delaying the entry of the members of Last Nightmare because uh, if you, if you time it right, when your front liners push in first, you're going mm -hmm. to delay your back line <clears throat> back lane. Yes, using that curse circle coming from that Sura, you want to delay your opponents as much as possible for uh, you know your <clears throat> to give your guildmate space. Yes. To wipe out everyone who came in first. So this is a good way for uh, Last Nightmare to practice their pushes <clears throat> and their aggressiveness. Because we know that Last Nightmare struggled yes. for quite a bit when it comes to oh. the offensive. But right now though, uh, that Sura I think got wiped out. I'm not sure. I, got, I think he got punished though. Yeah. Or maybe he's still inside. But if he got punished right there, oof. That's, yeah. And at the same time, that Sura is going to be very important on the side of Adonis since um, he's actually one of those ground control players that's supporting to punish the back lane of mm -hmm. um, Last Nightmare. So he needs to be really careful because, again, they don't have that enough Ooh. numbers. Oh! He just, uh, he he just, just simply yeah. got back, though. Yeah, he just... Alright, yeah. so I kind of blurry. Oh. Okay, alright. He just pushed in without oh, any, hey. uh, you know... Wow. Yeah, maybe no one is defending that flag warp here in Fadgrid Castle. <coughs> so that's why he got him really, really quickly. Yes. And earlier, they still have, um, Adonis still have like a, a, a suicidal destruction on the on the high ground earlier. So I think just in case that uh, things didn't go on their way, they can actually just cast that to uh, bounce back on that uh, quick regroup. Mm. And again, yeah. Um, Adonis has a flag warp. Last night, last night we doesn't have any uh, 
you know, way to regroup um, as fast as Adonis is. So they just need to run back on this preempt. So I think that's why um, Adonis has the advantage on this one. But they just need to perform. Uh, they just need to uh, perform the same um, what they did earlier on the first push off last nightmare. I think they can still pull this off. But again, I think last nightmare is gonna be is gonna take this seriously now. Mm -hmm. Well, I think what last nightmare was lacking earlier was that AOE damage they can cast against you know the backlane of Adonis. Yeah. Since uh, Adonis is opting for that <laughs> Numa. Uh, you know, it can prevent long range attacks from hitting the back lane. But yeah. if they actually use those warlock skills, those sorcerer skills to take them all out, I think it will be better for Last Nightmare to do that to in order for them to take out Adonis. Yes, but exactly. if they are still going to offer that long range damage, they need to cast that magnetic earth to prevent <laughs> the the Numa from being casted. But it yes. will also affect them in a way because uh, they couldn't defend against long range attacks yep. but uh, if you actually do that though it, it will all depend on your equipment in game but right now last nightmare preparing to push in and we saw that uh, Sura coming from Adonis using that tiger cannon before actually going back in and uh, just uh, a go. few picks coming from that Sura of, uh, of Adonis right there but Adonis just holding on really really strongly here just sustaining the damage coming from um, last nightmare and preparing yeah. themselves to actually wipe out everyone from Adonis but <clears throat> they weren't able to do so at that time yes and I think what happened here is I, um, I think most of the last nightmare are trying to aim the high ground instead of um, wiping the nearest targets um, near them because mm -hmm. uh, if you're gonna check most of the GX and the, the Suras on the side of Adonis are like they're actually doing a free hit to, uh, to last nightmare earlier Mm -hmm. And those Arc Bishop at the top um, on the high ground, they're just supporting basically uh, what they have here. So they have this uh, the, this uh, Arc Bishop supporting everyone, these four players. They're getting a massive support coming from this Anella uh, mm -hmm. Arc Bishop from Adonis. So I think yes. um, last night we took, they need to take a different approach on this one. They just need to wipe out and sustain the they need to wipe the ground players first then sustain the damage on the high ground i think that could actually work on their side yes of course they need to wipe the ground players first because you cannot see the flying players right <laughs> 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 all right but i think we won't see any more quick pushes coming from last nightmare this time yeah. around since we have purple dominari actually along with oh. red dominari and arsenal outside yeah. they're just here in the entrance but the purple dominari will decide to push in yeah. Uh, and uh, this gives space for Last Nightmare to actually regroup now at the entrance. And uh, yeah, actually, you just follow Purple Dominari yeah. inside though. And okay. I think um, this is actually good. Uh, this is what we're talking about, like last last uh, Warp Imperium. The the first win of your guild in the in the first minutes of the Warp Imperium, uh, Warp Imperium can actually dictate the entire rhythm of your, you know, your game for the first mm -hmm. hour or maybe in the se uh, first or second hour of the Warf Imperium and right now mm -hmm. Adonis is winning um, the the fights versus Purple Dominar in Last Nightmare and we're not talking about like uh, like you know nonsense um, goods we're talking about Last Nightmare and Dominari guilds here mm -hmm. and this is actually something big that um, Adonis is accomplishing that they've been sustaining everything coming from those big guilds yes but right now purple dominari will have a go <coughs> once again against um you know Adonis right yeah. there inside Back but last here. nightmare wants to push them from behind push. dragon's breath will land they're coming Someone's from flanking. purple dominari and we have that sura coming from last nightmare just using that gates of hell taking down those squishy players coming from last sniper but last Ooh. nightmare is sustaining really strong right here madragora howling just landed on the side of last nightmare but last nightmare still staying strong but we have um last sniper just pushing in on the purple dominari right now and adonis can actually take advantage of yep. this and the push out uh last nightmare and the purple dominari all in one go but it's pretty risky to do so because you need oh to, uh you know you need to go out of the amp room yes but uh as that battle is unfolding right before our eyes right now still we have last nightmare and purple dominari just trying to sustain 
their own spot, <laughs> then uh, managing to survive for some reason. Uh, this yeah. genetic's still alive, even <clears throat> with the uh, skills getting casted on him right now. But yes, yes, last nightmare in purple <clears throat> dominari. What a good fight coming from these two guilds. Yes, and I think earlier, um, last nightmare is trying to flank in on the north side of that um, of that area of this uh, of this map. They're trying to flank on the north side. But Dominari uh, Purple is very uh, prepared on, do on on that attack and they got punished immediately uh, last Nightmare. Um, I think most of the key players that they have tried to flank those Warlocks. They tried to flank on the north side but again they got punished really bad by Purple Dominari. And maybe that's mm -hmm. the reason why they don't have that uh, sustain anymore or those uh, quick dispels and uh, land protector on the side of um, last Nightmare. Mm -hmm. And it's like last sniper just caught Purple Dominari off guard right there. Yeah. Uh, since they were just preparing to push in on Adonis right now. And with last nightmare just uh, going in from behind, making sure they don't get pushed from behind, Purple Dominari Ooh. is really a, a little bit too careful to in their attacks. And that's why Purple Dominari has been winning a lot of yes. offensive. Uh, of, uh, they've been winning a lot of fights when they are on the offensive yes. because they are really prepared on what to do and they have been uh, practicing um, you know themselves on uh, how mm -hmm. they can do it properly yes and yeah. last nightmare needs to work on their offensive for a little bit yes since uh, they've been losing a lot of fights uh, that they are yep. on the offense maybe they need to take to change their roster or cater their roster more on for um, you know the offensive aggression rather than the defending but we've seen last nightmare defend castles really yes. really perfectly and they are much more pow powerful in the defense yes I mean I'm including in, in offense as well they're, they're very good in offense as well maybe it's just um, there are a lot of um, miscommunications maybe at the same time um, some of their members are out positioned earlier um, we saw earlier most of the back lane of last time we got stuck on this area. You have your RKs here. Uh, I think they're not receiving any support at all coming from the, the back lane. Or the firepower versus the dominari forces on the north side is mm -hmm. not receiving a lot of damage. So that's why they can just fire back uh, to last nightmare earlier. And maybe that's the reason why they got wiped out. Um, out position and I think miscommunication as well. Well, that could probably be the case, but you know, they just clashed right there uh, in, a, in a spot where it's not really that ideal because that yeah. Manor Falling can really affect you. Yes. And it affected <clears throat> last Nightmare earlier, which gave the chance for Purple Dominari to attack yes. last Nightmare at that time. Yes. But right now, Purple Dominari is going to hold uh, this preempt area before they actually push. And they are going to regroup here. And uh, this is a good way for them to regroup because they are going to prevent uh, those uh, pushes coming from behind. Like last sniper, they are uh, just waiting for Purple Dominari to push yes. in right here. Uh, this will, this defense will prevent them from pushing in and uh, wiping them all out before they actually enter that Imperium later on. Yes. And yeah, we have a shout out right here coming from Kimberly. Shout out to Goons. Yo, and Goose just conquered Kremhild Castle right now. Ooh. Earlier it was uh, captured by Red Dominari, mm -hmm. but maybe Red Dominari will opt for that push here in uh, Fat Grid Castle as well. <clears throat> yes. Okay. Um. Again, right now Dominari is gonna push in, and um, quick land protector here coming from Dominari. Dominari right now putting a heavy Ooh. pressure here. But they have, they only have like two players actually near at the stairs here. But again, they're getting hold by the GX here, and most of them are getting punished heavily here. And the RK switching target from the high ground to the um, to the ground players here of Adonis. But again, the, there's no effect on Adonis, and they are still dominating the defense here for uh, Fat Grid. Wow. Earlier though, uh, when Dominari pushed in, they used that magnetic earth or, or land protector on the floor. But it, it got, or their sorcerer I think got eliminated quickly. Yeah. That's why it got removed really, really quickly right there. And um, 
you see how the sorcerer of Adon is played right there. Yes. When skills were casted on the floor or against them, they opted to use that land protector for a little bit, mm -hmm. then removed it immediately just to remove all the floor kills, <laughs> floor skills that are casted on them. That's actually good. So um, it's a it's a good it's a good way if yes. you are, um, you know, just preventing the outside oh! damage from coming from behind. Here but we last go. nightmare is prepared to push in after a yeah, dominari right there and if last if adonis is not really prepared for this push coming from um or rather not adonis is not really prepared for this, this oh. push coming from last nightmare and i think they were all just stacking up there at the amp area that's yeah. why they couldn't hold their defense and they are, I think they are just going to give this away, but they are prepared for that suicide so destruction. I can see that mechanic just Suicidal. preparing themselves inside. But that over Brand though, last sniper couldn't get close for a little bit. We have that blue knight. We have uh, uh -huh. bits of members here from last sniper, but they couldn't pass <clears> from the stairs as last nightmare <laughs> will uh, attack fat grid castle right here and i'm not sure what's happening right now inside the amp room <laughs> as the but, battle was so intense yeah. fg got eliminated yeah man like that is so bad um mm -hmm. let me just uh, go to teleport there uh Hagrid. there you go all right but uh based on what i'm seeing as well Red and purple Dominari are coming in from behind. This is a good match. So they might actually take this castle away from last night. And Red Dominari is already at here at the end room, though. Red Dominari is already yeah. end room, and I think <clears throat> it will go to Red Dominari oh. right there because last nightmare also got eliminated. Yeah, I think uh, they just logged in and decided to uh, you know swarm in in Pangrid. Wiping uh, the entire forces of last nightmare. Oof. But earlier though, they actually conquered the castle of Goons and Opus Dei yeah. in Kremhild. Uh, but right now, Goons is back for the defense once again, I think, in Kremhild. And uh, maybe another guild <clears throat> will try to push it for the taking. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure about the defense of Goons right now though. No one's already out, no one's outside Kremhild Castle. Okay. Hmm. But that was a good fight. Um, coming from Adonis, I think they just uh forgot to you know regroup maybe for some reason. Yeah. There's probably a person <laughs> coming from Dominari who was still inside just earlier. Hiding, yeah. Uh, that's why they decided to stack up in the imp area. Yeah. And uh, because of that, uh, they got a little bit too startled just not really really casting those skills in the portal for the defense and uh, because they were really outnumbered by last nightmare although they wiped out a few members of last nightmare uh there mm -hmm. red dominari just push in from behind with the full roster yes that's why last nightmare also got eliminated okay all right there you go. Uh, Got it. Yeah, okay. So last nightmare is going to push once again. Purple Dominari has the castle there in Fadgrid. While I'm checking out Kremhild Castle right now, Goons have uh, set up a defense right here. Mm -hmm. So uh, they might probably defend this castle. I think uh, Last Nightmare is going to go for a push here on Purple mm -hmm. Dominari right now. Yes, and uh, this is a good way for them to work on their offensive. Again, like I said earlier though, they need to work on their offensive prowess. Yes. Although, you know, they, although they have a high loose um, rate in, uh, in a, the, the offensive, yeah. They can work on it. They can change their roster for a little bit. Yes. Or maybe they can use different potions. They can uh, adjust their equipment uh, to cater more into attacking oh. castles rather than defending it. But right now, Purple and Red Dominari has a defense, or that, rather only Purple Dominari mm -hmm. has a defense set up here at the preempt area. So this will actually give space for Last Nightmare to regroup there at the second area. Yes. 
and uh, maybe rebuff here then just push in together later on inside but that defense here in fat grid is going to be a little bit tough to handle since you need to actually attack the ones up top yep they just need to run back um run there either select like left or right just go to the um, high ground there and mm -hmm. currently uh i think last time has a chance to uh, penetrate this defense it's just that they need to uh, coordinate pass and um, do a quick split push here when it uh, mm -hmm. when they pass through this um, poison mist I believe yeah and yeah I think uh, let's check if they're gonna push in I think they're very conscious about the red dominari at the back lane as well because mm -hmm. we saw like a couple of dominari earlier like scouting um, scouting out and they might hit um, last nightmare here. Yes, so right now, Last Nightmare is uh, not really scouting Purple Dominari right now. Mm -hmm. I see no one from Last Nightmare going in. Maybe they don't really want to lose the numbers that they have. Maybe they are expecting uh, a classical pull-up inside. That's why no one is actually pushing in. But, you know, scouting is a little bit crucial in offensive situations. Yes. Maybe if they can allot Asura to just go in and out for uh you know the scouting i think yes. that would be a good option for last nightmare as well yes and i think uh last nightmare is aware as well that right now um uh, purple dominari has the means to uh you know uh they have the means to take down their lineup right now mm -hmm. so i think that's why they they just want to take this low and uh, they just want to make sure that everyone is regrouped in one area and push at the same time and right now, I think Battle Chance has been casted right now, and I think they're gonna go in in a uh, in few seconds. Mm -hmm. Okay, one RG went in. Alright, I think uh, I'm not he's, sure if he's alive. And <laughs> scout things out. Maybe he's still alive. Maybe yeah. he's still alive. You can go check in. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> not alive anymore. Because there's probably a lot of players here. Uh, stacking up <clears throat> so we have uh, i think two royal guards and one uh or two runites and one royal guard in that same stack yeah i'm not sure but last nightmare though preparing to push in as you can see here in the roster they don't have a lot of riders the riders meaning uh <laughs> The, the, call this, the the RG. The RG. Yeah. The Rune Knights and Royal Guards. Yeah. They don't have a lot of riders, so they, they don't have a lot of tanky players. And um, based on how I observed them in the past few weeks, mm -hmm. uh, they've been using that Sura perfectly in every situation. So they, they have a lot of Suras in their lineup. They use that Curse Circle to disable um around three spots because usually there are three suras or using that cursor curse circle then one sura left behind to actually um you know prevent them from getting suicidal destruction by oh, the mechanics good. but last nightmare just quickly pushing in right there no skills are casted or were casted on the floor that's that's why last nightmare just took advantage of that then just quickly rush in now yeah, they are right going now. to penetrate the defense who's out nice. the structure landing up top but not really eliminating the whole stack there of purple dominari and uh last nightmare just uh pushing in on purple dominari right now and I don't know they how Purple Dominari is still and... alive because of that suicidal destruction though. Yeah, I think they need to move um, right now on the flag war to prevent that um, regroup coming from Purple Dominari. Mm -hmm. But, or maybe Last Nightmare can quickly go in, just yeah. go in and break yeah. the castle. But Last Nightmare doesn't want to do that. Probably, they, they just, just... <laughs> they just want to wait for their teammates to go <clears throat> in. Yeah. How many players are in GGH? I can't give you a specific count. Yeah. Uh, I, ca I cannot give you a rough count as well since uh, we don't know either. But yeah. uh, as you can see right now, we have a lot. Ooh. All right. Wow. Oh, last nightmare and purple dominar. They've been. This battle has been going on for quite yeah. a while. They've been exchanging uh, like skills left and right. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm not sure where I can see Adonis. Sword Guild just conquered Nuremberg as well. And earlier though, Dominari has been holding your Bigar Castle. But <clears throat> I think they actually push out right now since oh. they just conquered Kremhild. Yeah. Okay. So I think this is opportunity now to push in. Um let me go then check if there's a defense setup there. And no defense setup. Alright, so yeah, I think last night is going to take advantage of this. And uh, maybe purple dominari will or red dominari will push them after they take this castle. Yes. Because usually Dominari is quick in regrouping. Mm -hmm. So they are waiting for the ca the castle to be captured. They just go in right after. Yeah. So that's why they can regroup perfectly and very, very quickly after a, a castle has been conquered. Mm -hmm. There are already players waiting outside the castle. <laughs> okay, so yeah. they are going to regroup there, then uh, push in later on. But uh, we don't know for sure as of now, mm -hmm. since uh, Red Dominar has a lot of castles in their hand as well. They will <laughs> probably try and defend their own castles for now. Yeah. Like, but uh, they might opt for a different option as well. Yes. I, I mean, question there is, like, are they gonna take care of the economy right now of the castle? Is this the perfect time to take care of the economy? Like, that's actually one of my, uh, like, the questions that I'm trying to uh, figure out. Um, since the uh, god item patch got released, like, are, um, am I gonna see like a guild um, gonna turtle one castle for the uh, for the economy itself, something? Uh, hmm. Yeah. Um, I think it's best to take that? care of your economy, though. But oh, okay. in order for you to really take care of the economy, just make sure it doesn't get <laughs> it doesn't change owners. All oh, right, hi. because every time a castle has been conquered, <clears throat> economy will drop. All right, <clears throat> so if you invest in your economy, just make sure you have a decent defense setup every time. Yeah. And I couldn't really call that fun. <laughs> I couldn't call it that fun well, because you're just going to turtle up in a single castle for a really, really long time. Like, yeah. I understand. Like, I mean, the trade-off is kind of good as well. If, sp mm -hmm. um, especially if you're gonna aim for like specific god items, right? So, but yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's gonna be a tough call to be honest. Like, are you gonna go for uh, for the fights? Are you gonna go for a practice for seven v seven, or are you just gonna turtle in and uh, deal with the uh, god item seal quest and something? You know. Yeah, but it's I tough, don't think it's a tough call. Yeah. But I don't think you know the. Taking care of your economy is also going to be good for our players right now. Since they really want to craft those god items, you need a lot of materials for it. And different materials for that fact. Um, you need to conquer different castles in order for you to get a specific materials yeah. or for specific items in uh, every castle. Because in every castle, it, there, there's going to be a special reward which yeah. only the guild leader can get. And... You know, if you only miss, if you you're only missing a few materials, maybe you could, you know, try and take that castle for yourselves in order mm. for, for you to get some, or you want to take care of the economy of a single castle, then just sell it uh, to the players as well for you to, uh -huh. um, you know, gain more resources like pull resources for yeah. supplies and stuff, uh, stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually a tough one. So it really depends on your objective, I think. Yeah. All right. So here in Scarlet Palace, though, MG, we have a lot of people outside as well. And Goons is the castle holder. Purple Dominari just waiting inside. Okay, so not really waiting inside since Red Dominari is already inside. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so maybe you can go to Scarlet Palace. We can catch Scarlet. how Red Dominari... Uh, tries to capture the castle here of Scarlet Palace or ca castle of goons in Scarlet Palace. Oh, wow. Yes, they are <coughs> all set and ready for the offensive right here. They just need uh, maybe a few more members to go in, but they're probably busy 
defending a different castle because earlier I saw them in your Brigar and mm -hmm. they were defending that really really well they had a lot of players and I think they they just need the materi materials there in your Brigar <clears throat> yes and yeah right now I think um, Dominar is currently just uh, waiting like you mentioned and uh, I think Gunz is aware as well that uh, Dominari is here so let's go ahead and check maybe uh, Gunz is setting up a defense inside mm -hmm. Check. They probably have a defense there at the preamp area. I'm not yeah. really sure about that. Okay, okay, so this is not going Ooh. to be the full roster there of uh, Red Dominari since we have players from Red Dominari in ear no as well. So they are just going to give this away. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. They're not going to give this away. Red Dominari already penetrated the castle though. Oh. That's why they're so that's why, that, yeah. yeah. So that's okay. why, Fair enough. but I think they are going to be here. In your Brigar Opus Day already just trying to attack here in your Brigar Castle. So, MG, yep, let me uh, fly there. <laughs> oh, here. You're going to be a flying player as yeah, well. A flying player, let's go. Ooh. <clears throat> Okay, so Red Dominari needs to take care of the castle. 100 eco also to do quest. So you need 100 economy in a single castle to Wait, do what? a quest? Really? Uh, okay, okay, so I'm not really familiar. Or, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm not really familiar with the how to craft god items eco or quest? how to unlock those seals. But maybe if it requires 100 economy. Like how you need to long? you need to invest a lot. You need to take care of your castle a lot. Okay. Like, do they need to hold the entire castle till the end of the session? Or yeah. if yeah yeah. So if uh, the economy you can only increase it once every single day, every twenty four hours. Wait, what right? if they flip this castle right now? Uh, the economy will drop, but not go. It will not go back to zero. It will just drop for a bit. Okay. Because every every time the Imperium uh, gets broken or gets captured, or the every, every time the the castle change owners, yeah, uh, the economy will drop some points. All right. So you can only increase your economy so much, and every time it's the the cost will be commutative. That's what I know. The All cost right. will be commutative, so it, it costs more every time to invest in your castle's economy. And the uh, uh, the more economy or the more points your castle has, the the stronger your your imperium will be as well, <laughs> and uh, the stronger your guardians will be, okay? and the more treasures you can get Wait, in a castle. Okay, so, that's what I know. That's what I know. Okay. So you're telling, mistaken, so maybe the right Dominari now. right now is trying to craft an item because they're maybe. holding this one. Yeah, if it's if if, if one hundred uh, eco is required to craft the quest, they want to defend the castle that they already have, or, or the castle wow. with the highest economy. Okay, so that they can invest more and more and more, and the ca the castle or the economy won't drop even a single bit if they defend the castle. So, if you really want to rush things, or maybe <laughs> Dominari already has a lot of materials in in their hand, in their possession. Whoa. That's why they are preparing to, um, you know, to, to do a quest yeah. to, to craft a god item. Maybe that's going to be an option for them as well yeah. since we all know Dominaria has been capturing castles left and right yes. for a long time now. <laughs> since the start of War of Imperium, they've been conquering different castles. Well, and to be fair, like, dude, that's going to be 100 eco, so it will take a lot of War of Imperium, you know, before they can uh, reach that 100 eco, I think. Mm-hmm. Oof. Well, Alright, so good luck on that. Um, uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not really sure though. I'm not really sure about the economy, but um if so, need hundred eco to do quest? Really now? Well just for the quest. Not well the well uh, that's that's a new informa that's a new information to me. Okay, since, uh, I'm not I'm not really aware on how to craft god items. I haven't tried before. <laughs> Alright. Oh. But if it's required, if that's the requirement to craft a god item, 
Uh, it can be worth it though. Because... <laughs> we'll we'll like, explain like, more of the God I just later like, on. Just imagine that you're you're gonna wait 100 eco then one quest one mix for example. Is is that the uh, one one quest one uh, one item, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Only the guild leaders can craft items, and Dude. you will trade specific materials to get specific god items but you ne also need materials to uh, to unlock those seals as yeah. well yep. uh yeah okay so uh, yeah guys uh, by the way yeah to our viewers guys if you know the quest comment it on the uh on our comment section and we're gonna check it out we're very yeah. curious about it hmm. 100 eco uh, yeah 100 eco to start the first a seal quest okay so i need to check more than that uh maybe there's going to be a maybe there's going to be a guide in roggh.com yeah, right yeah, definitely, definitely. Gonna all right be. all right so i i'm not really familiar with the god item quest yeah. but that's good to know because normally you're gonna see like dominari on the first hour you're just gonna roam around and find some fights but right now first 48 minutes they're they're just sitting here and mm -hmm. You know, defending and turtling this castle. So there's me, uh, there's me, uh, you know, something on on this defend or defense mm -hmm. here come from Dominan. Yes, and I think if you, uh, they just want to take care of their economy. <clears throat> I think that's going to be a good option for them as well. But that's but, gonna be. Right? Uh, I mean, that they're gonna be the target maybe. Like if I'm the uh, if if guild, someone wants I'm gonna to reset break. that. If someone that, wants yeah. to break the economy, okay, sure. But you can't really reset uh, a castle's economy unless you capture it for multiple times in a single day. Okay. Ah, okay. Alright, so we have some shoutouts here. Shoutouts to RKM Gaming, said <laughs> Jesse. Oh, RKM. All right. Let's go. RKM. And this is, RKM is a streamer, of course, yeah, yeah. in ROGGH. Uh, he's been streaming a lot of uh, ROGGH content as well. So make sure you do check him out. If, if, if he ever streams, uh, if he ever goes live, hey, okay. normally, uh, like it's like early morning. The last mm -hmm. time that I checked, they uh, they were live like early morning, so yeah, but they're very informative. Like, I really like their stream, and there's two cameras as well, so mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, all right. So I'm also <laughs> trying to read more about the god item. Quest. <laughs> uh, I I've read this before, <laughs> but I I didn't know about the economy though. So that's a new information for me. Okay. Anyway, since um we have a player there from a dominary just holding, uh, your Brigar castle right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm checking out different castles as well. Where are the other players? Like no one's in Fat Grid, no one's in Krem Hill. Okay, I'm not sure where they are. Yeah, to be fair, most of the castles that I've been teleporting, it's either Dominari or Guns is, you know, holding it. Mhm. Mm wow. So aftershock just conquered Bamboo Grove Hill right now. Lo Lobelia just conquered Bright Arbor. Okay. And uh, we have uh, different guilds popping up as well. So hopefully we get to see more guilds, you know, join in Warf Imperium. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of miss seeing Infinix Reborn <laughs> as well. Okay, so I'm not sure where they are. Maybe they're only active on Saturdays or maybe they are in, dif in a different castle right now. Yeah. That we just couldn't find them. I think they're... I think most of the guilds right now are aware about the questings and all. Maybe that's why they've been moving to multiple castles. And this is unusual that um, Dominari is not hitting any fights at the moment. They've been really, mm -hmm. you know, just camping one one castle at the moment. Well, if I'm going to quest or I'm going to make a god item, my first priority will be to secure the items that I need. Okay, so um, yeah. the items that I need will be a lot. <laughs> okay, because if I want to craft, uh, for example, a slate near, 
I need a lot of um, Feather of Angel Wing. I need a lot of Emblem of the Sun God. All right, so I need a, I will need a lot of items. <clears throat> okay, so um, getting those items will help you a lot yes. into making God items or will enable you to make God items. Yes. Because the first thing you need to do is to secure the item that you need to craft the specific item that you want. And uh, yeah, it, it all goes <laughs> from there. You can you can do the quest however you want. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. What yeah, game I'm is this? A... I, I'm, I'm just trying to read more about <laughs> uh, that sword. That sword though. Oh, so... oh. That sword. Mmm. Bother. Yeah. Last make... Saturday. Last Saturday though, they had two members. Yeah. Um. Uh, Vadrak was there. Vadrak, yeah. Uh, sometimes he gets paired with the Warlock. Sometimes he gets paired with the Ranger. Sometimes a. Uh, okay. Sometimes it's a mixture of both a Warlock and a Ranger. I'm not. Uh, I'm not sure what else is he using. Yeah. So uh, there's always two members in the Sword Guild. Yes. So we have a comment here from Gabriel. It's a series of sealed quests, one unlocking after another god items created after the final fourth seal has been released. This is where Megs, Briss, Miol, and Slape are created. Yes, actually. And if you want to know more about the god item quest, I think it's going to be at uh, ROGGH.com. And uh, you can also visit our website, ROGGENJOY.ASIA, to check more about the quest. It's also posted, I think, in Discord. Yes. Yeah. So but, yeah. uh yeah, that reminds me. Yeah. I, I I just need to check on Discord. <laughs> Why am I searching? And I think in the same at uh, the same time, if your guild mates are gonna help you to craft that item, and I think mm -hmm. that's gonna be easy. Right? Like especially if you're like for example you're in Dominari and we know for a fact that Dominari has a lot of members. So if those members are, you know, pitching like a few items, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think that um, God item is gonna gonna be easy. Uh, no. Creating a God item is never easy. I, I mean, think like <laughs> like items like if the entire guild is gonna help you and farm it, like you know, those farmable items. You can items, only, you can only items, get okay. so much. All right, you yeah. can only those get so items. much. And it's not sure that you would get something out of every Water of Imperium session. <laughs> Even if you conquer a castle, you know, you need to still bring a treasure chest inside. And it's not really 100% that you will get something <laughs> out of it. But yes, we are talking about the crafting of god go. items. Adonis just pushed in on Fratis Advitam right here. And uh, we still have the Shadow Chaser still up and alive. And I think that is... A guillotine cross as yes. well. Okay, so Fratres versus Adonis Curse Circle. Circle will land on that uh, wonder right there. And, and it's not getting eliminated right now for some reason. It's still alive. Yeah. He's a it's still alive. Uh, okay, cross even with that cross impact Wait, landing what? though, it's still alive. Okay. Was... Uh, like, yeah. Okay. Like, okay, let's see. <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on. No, no guillotine. Fist no, 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 no. Um, let's go. This is flash thing? combo. Okay, there okay. So go. the flash there combo plus a lot of skills. Here we go, sword wonder. guild. Let's go. Vadra, <laughs> joining okay. in. Okay. Okay, he's still alive. Okay, Vadra. Just ah, trying. Okay, go we'll go out respect, because bro. they have respect. that sorcerer. Respect. We're gonna. I'm gonna go out. <laughs> they have that sorcerer though. That dispel will. <laughs> Cause a ton of trouble, tr tr trouble for that uh, for Vadrak right there. Yeah. The quest, yeah, I agree with you, Michelle. The quest <laughs> is really something. I, I the... Prefer it'll be Sura, genetic or anyone with the oh, high yeah, yeah, yeah. as the leader. Yeah, actually, uh, you can rush to craft that god item, but it will, it will be a competition. Of course, the unlocking of seals will be something. Uh, to see as well <laughs> shout out for goons guild okay shout out to goons guild said chris ronyo all right go, so uh, we haven't seen goons uh, 
as of yeah, right now. Um, so been, they're probably yeah. in a different spot. I think Gunsei Earlier is Earlier they were in Scarlet though, yeah. right? They've been moving uh, from one castle to another castle. <laughs> capping. Um, they've been capping uh, lately. Uh, oh yeah, so here they're here <clears throat> in Kremlin Castle right now. <clears throat> okay. okay. And Adonis just quickly rushing in to push the castle right now that Fratres is holding. So no okay. defense okay. in Hohenshong. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I think that's <clears throat> going to be no. I think maybe they're inside the the amp room yeah, right now. And there's uh, some p players are AFK. Some of them are AFK. Mm -hmm. You will know if a guild will craft a god item if they are defending a castle so hard. Uh, that's only a speculation though. It can be, it can be a different meaning. <laughs> <laughs> it can be a diff it, it can mean it differently, <clears throat> but usually that's the case. The cover up. So let's go. Yeah. yeah. So maybe Dominari is probably trying so to craft a guide maybe. item for themselves. Maybe. <laughs> okay, but I think uh, Dominari has the items and capabilities to craft god items as of the moment, since yeah. uh, they've been conquering castles left and right, nonstop <clears throat> every session. <laughs> So they probably have all the materials in hand right now. Uh, yeah. We don't know. We don't know. And maybe we're gonna see them um, camping specific castles from time to time now. Since uh, if they're gonna make a god item. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so Curse Circle just landed though. Oh, I, I yeah, just Curse Circle just landed, uh, disabling a lot of players from Adonis. <clears throat> but uh, Fratres doesn't have enough firepower yeah, to take them all there. out, and Adonis will just uh, casually walk in and break this Imperium to take it off on themselves. Fratres, the, that's why. How is that Soul Linker still alive? It's just you see that Kalpe <laughs> survive. <laughs> Okay, okay, try to survive. Oh. But yeah. <coughs> okay. Uh I'm not sure how that soul linker survived for a long yeah. time there. No one was just hitting them. Skogo or Snow versus LN. Uh let me check that out before we actually Skogo. Uh but in Kremhill though, there it, Opus Day and Goons are there. So Arsenal is the owner of Skogo. <coughs> oh, okay, so Arsenal has a pretty good defense oh. set up in Skogo right now. Last time and this last sniper really going to push <coughs> in though. Maybe oh, yeah, they're at the entrance and Arsenal is just <coughs> holding here at uh, a spot inside. So it will be a pretty good fight since we mentioned earlier that uh, last sniper needs to work more on their offensive strategy yeah so may if they made a little bit of adjustments maybe they change their strategy to cater more on their for their um you know roster right now mm -hmm. they could probably take down a lot of guilds definitely but yeah. if they manage to really really um perfect their offensive prowess no one could stop them yeah. Since uh, we all know that last nightmare has been a pretty good defender, mm -hmm. uh, I gotta take the battle. Uh, actually, I think there will be guilds who will be capable of uh, stopping them, but yeah. it will be pretty hard. Okay, yeah. like uh, the likes of uh, Dominari, Arsenal, mm -hmm. they could be capable <laughs> into defeating them. Adonis as well. Yes. Their Adonis looks really promising, but they just need more members. Definitely. And Goons then, needs to work a little bit more on their offensive as well. I mean, Goons right now are improving. I mean, um, I think they've been improving over time. Um, it's just the numbers, the consistency of the numbers. I think that's the only thing that's stopping them. But um, offense, defense, I think they're pretty decent. Um, same goes with Opus Day as well. But right now, I think they're just uh, fully allied and uh, helping each other at the moment. So that's why I think it's still still good. Uh, it, it is still good. But having an individual, you know, like their own numbers can actually uh, do something on, on Warf Imperium. Okay. 
Okay. So currently, guys, I think um, Arsenal is just uh, holding the ground here while Last Nightmare is still sustaining here. So let's go ahead and wait if um, Last Nightmare will commit on this one. Um, we went inside. Uh, we went inside earlier, and we saw a uh, <clears throat> a classical clock. And right now, Last Nightmare is gonna commit now. Classical clock here. And a massive AoE is coming from Arsenal. Arsenal right now dropping those uh, Storm Guns, Fire uh, Dragon's Breath here. But some of the last Nightmare players are pushing in and trying to contest the back lane. But again, Arsenal is very persistent on the defense and sustaining everything here. And right now, last Nightmare is losing numbers here. And I'm not sure what happened there. So here we go. Most of them are pushing here. There you go. Okay. So yeah, I think uh, Arsenal managed to um, sustain everything there. Let's go then check. Okay. There you go. <laughs> okay, I think uh, James got disconnected there. So right now we're gonna check outside if uh, if there's gonna be a second contest there, but I think uh, no one is uh, contesting anymore. So let's go back and uh, check what happened. I think um, <clears throat> Dominari is still staying at their castle right now. So most of the guilds are focusing on different objective. And I think... Um, oh, Infinix is here. Let's go ahead and follow Infinix then. Okay, there you go. Um, some of the players are still here at uh, Scoble. Um, I think they're still planning to contest um, Arsenal here. And we're seeing Nonsense right now. Nonsense is um, holding the entrance here on Scoble. <clears throat> okay, so I think that they're just putting a uh, heavy pressure here. I'm not sure what's the plan of Nonsense here, but then again i think they're just uh, holding everything here they're just trying to delay i think they're just waiting for their members to uh to join in <clears throat> and a lot of members right now are uh, joining in the fight here i think they just want to take down arsenal here we're seeing a couple of uh, members of uh, purple dominari joining in and i think uh, purple dominari is trying to raise uh try to establish uh they trying to uh, establish here a quick land protector there on the uh, stairs and they I think they're just trying to push through here they still have like a couple of members warlocks here trying to uh, secure the entrance and I think uh, they managed to uh, secure the entrance and right now most of their members are just uh, holding this and they're just waiting for their members to go in okay There you go. All right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Let's go. All right. I I countered a bit of a technical <laughs> difficulty right there, but oh, I'm you back. Hope. Oh, you. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Not sure what happened, but yeah, uh, purple dominari. Okay, what the what the change of events right there? Um, earlier it was uh, last nightmare just uh pushing in mm -hmm. on the castle of arsenal and uh, uh can you tell us uh, <clears throat> more what happened can you explain to me what happened there mg <laughs> like um they tried to push there but apparently um arsenal's defense are, is pretty solid um some of the last nightmares rk managed to pa uh, push mm -hmm. through 
the mid part of the stack there but apparently uh, the ground players or ground control players of Arsenal are very quick and uh, very attentive on which player to focus on so I think uh, they managed to capitalize on those uh, mistakes of Last Nightmare and they actually clean Last Nightmare one by one so Arsenal mm -hmm. doing a good job on securing that defense versus Last Nightmare stack mm -hmm. and uh, Last Nightmare though just uh, <coughs> preparing themselves to actually uh, push in once again I think on Arsenal's uh, castle <coughs> Mm -hmm. And uh, they just they just want to regroup right here at the entrance before they push in later on. Yep. All right. Okay. I think uh like two girls are trying to fight Arsenal right now. We're actually seeing like Dominari trying to contest. Um. Then last night where is uh they actually want to have a revenge here versus Arsenal. So that's why I think they've been regrouping really quick here. We have a um, couple of uh, nonsense on the right side. I'm not sure um, why are they are not getting hit by last nightmare for some reason. Mm -hmm. yeah, yes, and uh, 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 interesting <clears throat> spot to defend the third floor of that castle. Uh, yeah. Here in Skogo. <clears throat> yep. Uh, nonsense still off emblem. Oh <clears throat> no. Yeah, I think that's kind of hard <laughs> to spot nonsense if uh, they don't have an emblem on. Good evening, Boss James and Boss MG. Hello to Tried and Friends Guild as well as Arsenal Guildies. Go Sailor Power. Hello, Primrose. When and are you gonna yeah, shout out to Tried Prim. and Friends. When are you going to invite <laughs> right? Uh, hey. Ninja James, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I could... I could disappear and appear yeah, reappear yeah. in a flash yeah, i'm a ninja uh, guys i'm a ninja there you go <laughs> mg planted gunslinger mine my entire yeah i agree with you there don't don't tell anyone uh, I, I don't know what don't, mgd did. don't, uh, don't MGD. tell anyone gabriel that's gonna be our secret bro <laughs> yeah i think mg <clears throat> mg just um wanted to you know <clears throat> do it all by himself <laughs> <laughs> my god all right Okay. okay. So last nightmare, I think uh, Nazis is just securing the the entrance for last nightmare, and right now last nightmare is going in, and this is gonna be a revenge match um, versus Arsenal. So let's go ahead and check if last nightmare can secure a round two, the round two here versus Arsenal. Arsenal right now has a pretty uh, tight defense. Um. They have the classical block ready, they have those um, sorcerer and dispel, those vacuums ready, up and running. So I'm not sure if how uh, last night we will take this. So what do you think, James? Um, if last nightmare times this right yeah. and actually <clears throat> uh, pushes in in a decent manner or in a strategic manner, yeah. they could probably take out Arsenal who's defending right now. <clears throat> But we all know that Arsenal has a good defense inside the castle, currently. Mm -hmm. So uh, if our, if Last Nightmare doesn't <laughs> actually use their items, their consumables perfectly as well, uh, they will have a hard time in pushing in on Arsenal right now. But we have a rune oh. actually just uh, inside the stack there of Arsenal. And they wow. quickly went in. No classical block on the floor right now. But th this is not a chance for Arsenal to actually wipe out last sniper since they already uh, the, the 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 players of last sniper who yep. already pushed in earlier got numbers? eliminated oh and uh they last sniper actually lost their chance yeah. if they could have landed maybe a suicidal destruction yeah. or probably a royal guard inside mm -hmm. using that overbrand causing a lot of damage against the stack <laughs> there of uh mm -hmm. Arsenal, they could have taken Arsenal out at that time, but last nightmare opted to use for that rune knife. Yes, they Arsenal has that Numa on their on their on their stack. That's why you know the push of last nightmare did a little to no damage against Arsenal right mm -hmm. there. Since again, Skogol <laughs> is a hard castle to push. Yes, it... this was the first castle that we watched in the qualifier and last is... nightmare defended this perfectly yes. 
And that was because uh, again, and that day, right? flag warp is only there. That flag warp was only there at the third, um, third portal. Mm. And then solid defense, too hard to push in. Yeah, I agree with you. Though. Um, <laughs> last night we needs to work on the their offense offensive roster. If they want to be more offensive, they need to change their <clears throat> lineup. They need maybe they probably need more melee damage maybe if they could get royal guards in yeah. maybe if they could get um you know some tanky guillotine cross then just switch to their weapon when uh they're already inside the stack they could probably do more damage exactly. than long range <clears throat> i was actually waiting for the matter to cast sd or suicidal destruction there but mm -hmm. i'm not sure what happened there i um uh, is is Arsenal pinpointing or focus firing the 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 Mado users? Are they doing mm -hmm. that? Because again, we're we're not seeing any uh, like pushes coming from those as we saw the destruction. It's more on the RKs, and I think those RKs are manageable um, on the side of Arsenal versus the 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 Mado as we saw the destruction. So I think uh, actually that's a good call if they're focusing uh, those. Suicidal destruction, or they just try to eliminate those um, risk immediately. They just probably couldn't get close. Yeah. Uh, because again, it's kind of difficult oh. if you are um, not really <clears throat> well prepared <clears throat> for your roster. Yes. But right now, though, Dominari, well prepared into uh, pushing. Um, Arsenal right there. Yes. But if last n nightmare decides to, you know, <clears throat> try and attack the castle that Dominari already has, yeah. Uh, Red Dominari will probably opt to defend that castle because uh, we know that Red Dominari has been trying to hold your Brigar. Yeah. Right? We yeah. saw them earlier defend that castle with uh, full force. So they're, they're probably probably taking care of the economy of yeah. your Brigar castle. So that's why if uh, they decide to push in on that castle later on, <clears throat> they will probably back down yes. from uh, Skogo. Hmm. So I think uh, the entire Dominaric force is going to contest um, Arsenal here. I think they uh, they saw the challenge here. Maybe that's one of the reasons why they want to go here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Let's go. To, let me check the outside first if Last Nightmare is going to still uh, contest this. Okay, we still have like Whoa. last nightmare, and I think Dominari needs to be careful in this, because again, if they're gonna like go inside, they might have that last nightmare and Dominari fight, and you know Arsenal might you know just hit the back lane of any of these uh, two guilds, so they mm -hmm. need. To, um, I think Dominari needs to be careful in this. But I think last nightmare needs to not push for now since uh you just want dominari to push in first <clears throat> after dominari pushes in then <clears throat> you will come in yeah but just leave scouts outside <clears throat> in order for you to um notice what's happening yeah so if you really want to take this castle you need to um you need to be a little bit more strategic you need to time this right because uh, right now Dominari is just holding the entrance of uh, what do you call this uh, Skogo. Yes. And I'm not sure if they, they are allied with one another. Yeah. Because we've seen that uh, in the back in the qualifiers that Dominari and Arsenal are allied with one another mm -hmm. at that time. Yep. So. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of got shocked for a little bit right there. Yeah, I'm actually checking the uh, the the maps as well currently. So sorry. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, suicidal destruction will land there uh, against last nightmare coming from Dominari, and last nightmare just trying to quickly still pursue this uh, mm. this castle. And yeah, Arsenal though, I think they're still allied with Dominari. So we are not going to see Ooh. our Arsenal versus Dominari battle here. We're seeing that genetic use that. Uh, Use some skills uh, yeah, to help out uh, Dominari right there. 
Oh, okay. Okay. So, that's probably why Arsenal is uh, just uh, sitting pretty inside, just holding on yes. to that castle. <clears throat> well, so, good. maybe if uh, Last Nightmare really wants to take castle, they need to offer a different one. Yes. And I think a good recognition here coming from Last Nightmare. I think their members spotted that the defense here coming from um, that the guilds here are not that um, tight anymore. They just went in, reestablished the uh, land protector there, and they actually put their members um, equally um, on both sides, so no one will actually mm -hmm. flank towards to any other spots. Yes, but hold on to that thought, MG. Actually, here in Kremhild Castle. Uh, Nemesis Armada <coughs> is defending it, and Adonis is trying to push in. <coughs> oh, right. there you go. Let me jump there. Kremhill. There you go. Wow. Uh, yeah, I got it. Adonis is not... Okay, so Adonis just got elim <laughs> eliminated. <laughs> Slash Minifect? I think it's automatic in War of Imperium. So, uh, mm. can you check? Just, just type Slash Minifect, MG. Or slash minimize, in the same. So it should uh, be inputted there that simplified effects has been activated. Yeah. All right. So. There you go. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh -huh. uh, no, no, no. I think uh, they're just not used to seeing skills uh, oh. being cast like that. So uh, maybe we could uh, turn off our effects off and on from time to time so that you you know other viewers can see what's happening all right yep okay so uh adonis just tried to push in on kremhild castle earlier but adonis uh i think failed because of that uh classical pluck on the floor mm -hmm. and uh Nemesis Armada has set up a good defense right here in Kremhill, but still, Adonis uh, is still trying to push in. That mechanic is getting close, though. That mechanic is getting close, but I think that classical pluck is still on the floor. But uh, <laughs> that mechanic from Adonis got eliminated, and the Adonis That's couldn't insane. get close. They are getting damaged heavily by the firepower of Nemesis Armada, who's casting a lot of uh, skills on the floor. Ooh. But just imagine how many skills that they actually, you know, throw in there just to take down one GX alone. There's mm -hmm. actually a lot of skills. So I think if um, Adonis can time this properly, like split, uh, do a quick split push, like one on the north side or one on the south, they can actually um, create a uh, space here from... Mm -hmm. <clears throat> From the or from the model or the mechanic to you know do an SD or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, because of the skills that were casted by Nemesis Armada and because the damage <laughs> you are taking, uh, you know the the players of Adonis really could get close, mm -hmm. and uh, they're just getting damaged heavily. They need to consume a lot of uh, potions in order for them to just survive the onslaught of Nemesis Armada right there. Yes. But if they actually manage to go out of that classical pull-up, then they could probably, you know, take out Nemesis Armada right there. But then again, uh, that's only the entrance of the castle. Mm -hmm. So you need to be prepared again for the secondary push inside the third portal. Or you need to be quick in order for you to hold that third portal before they can actually go, go back in. <clears throat> and all right i think um adonis right now is currently trying to uh penetrate the defense but I, I think they're having a hard time on moving in i think the best option for them is to move south here most of the south players are not that heavy uh damagers most of the damagers are on the side mm -hmm. of uh, nemesis is mainly at the north side i think yeah so if they can uh, manage to push through on the south side here, they can actually create a space. Oof. But um, I think Nemesis Armada is doing a great job here, paddling back, making some adjustments there, trying to uh, fall back slowly on the south side, making sure that um, Adonis is not getting the, the hits that they want on those players. And I think right now, uh, uh, Zenis is taking a lot of damage 
coming from the Rangers of uh, Nemesis Armada. And a quick follow up there, three or uh, yeah, three Adonis right now joining in the fight. And uh, I think they're actually uh, suffering from that classical block, unable to move and unable to cast as well. They need to take down that classical block or else they're gonna be punished really hard and again speaking of uh zenis zenis is still no zenis is no. down now. oh no no it's alive. okay wow. um so what happened there though uh, although adonis just tried to sustain <clears throat> that mechanic landed that suicidal destruction at, a, at, a, at, an, at an awkward spot yeah if i can say that um uh, not really hitting Anyone when he used that suicidal destruction, or maybe he had one or two players from Nemesis Armada, mm -hmm. but not enough to take them all out. Since you know the positioning here of Nemesis Armada is quite good, yeah, they are split up, they're not really stacked uh, with one another, so that when they get pushed, example by a Chris Circle, not all, not all of them yeah. will get affected by it, exactly. It's actually All a right. good one. Um, like they're making Adonis to choose where where to jump, and if they saw that um, the north side or south side is getting pressured really hard, they're focusing their damage um, immediately to that side. So great um, recognition they're coming from Nemesis Armada. Okay. Okay. So right now, let's go ahead and check uh, the other maps here. Um, let's go back to Skogul. Maybe uh, there is another fight there. <laughs> I, I'm not sure what happened to James, but yeah, I think... Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, check Skogul. And still, Arsenal is still holding this against Last Nightmare. I'm not sure if um, what's the plan here of Last Nightmare, but again... The entire forces of Dominari, including the purple one, is sitting here at the entrance, preventing Last Nightmare to push in. This is gonna be a really tough um, push coming from um, Last Nightmare, since uh, we are actually seeing like um, a consistent bombs there coming. Um, Bombs coming from those um, warlocks as well at the entrance, and as you can see, we have uh, some uh, some GX as well. Yeah, some GX as well at the entrance, and I think this is gonna be a classical clock as well that has been casted there. And some of the um, last nightmare players, they're just trying to uh, go in one by one. They're just trying to scout maybe, but I think um, they're actually aware that. They're actually facing a uh, a two guild defense here. So left and right, there it is actually pretty secured on the north side as well. It's pretty secured. So this is going to be a tough one for last nightmare. I'm not sure if last nightmare will still contest this, but <clears throat> seeing the numbers of last nightmare here still regrouping, I think they're gonna uh, they're gonna still push this one. Yeah. So let's go ahead and check if uh, if last nightmare will just gonna are they gonna wait it out or you know or just push in immediately. So let's go ahead and wait and uh, see the progress there again, guys. You're watching Ragnarok, GGH guys, Warf Imperium guys. Yet another gunslinger mine. No, I didn't plant anything. I'm innocent. I'm innocent, guys. I'm innocent. Mind connected. Wait, what? I didn't do anything, guys. Okay, so last nightmare right now. Pushing now. The defense of Dominari. Dominari right now still doing a range bomb there on the entrance. But we still have couple of last nightmare on the left side trying to flank in, trying to take down any players that they can actually uh, do. And uh, currently, last nightmare is not backing down on this fight. We still have like one last nightmare on the left side, but he got punished really bad. 
is getting focus fired by two dominaries and yeah yeah dominary showing the coordination on how they play the defense versus any guilds this is gonna be a tough one for last nightmare but still props to these two guilds right now showing a good coordination on how to defend a castle and of course the last nightmare as well they almost had it it's just they just need a couple of more members to push with but yeah <laughs> we're just gonna wait it out and uh, let's go ahead and check outside maybe uh we are still gonna see last nightmare okay i think last time is not gonna you know they're not gonna fall back on this you know last nightmare okay i'm not sure there you go <laughs> speaking of not sure. backing down james is not backing down as well uh, so yeah i we got go. a wife we're back we're back guys we're back i, I got a wife <laughs> i got a wife okay, okay we got you guys okay. we got you okay so i didn't really actually get disconnected in game for some reason though you got our our screen mirroring just got <clears throat> affected yeah <laughs> I think you got hit by some frozen skill or something. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. The moment that yeah. I noticed that you got that you're you're freezing in the screen, I immediately got. <laughs> yeah. Oh my <clears throat> goodness, I'm not sure what happened. And earlier though, I could hear you talking, but my my voice just couldn't get in. So yeah, Maybe. yeah, I had no choice. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, no worries. I got you covered, bro. So right Not now, really though. yeah, <laughs> yeah, guys, right, right, right. No, no. <laughs> I, I could, I could watch the stream though. But anyway, anyway, since uh, I'm back and uh, I just I'm got, back, yeah. I, I just, uh, I just got caught in an ankle snare, guys. Really? <laughs> I just got caught in an ankle snare. That's why I couldn't really see what's going on. But yeah, actually. Uh, last Sniper is still trying to pursue Skogul Castle, but mm -hmm. back here in Kremhill, the fight between Adonis and Nemesis Armada. No, 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 no. Fratres, Fratres oh, already has the Kremhill Castle, though. Are they? Are they still fighting? Or no, Adonis just tried to wait, go just in. Okay, just jump. Just, just, just go here. There you go. Dominary Castle Death Workshop when? Uh, actually though, uh, the defense of Dominary is pretty strong. But again, it's not even Dominary's castle though that they're defending. Yeah. So, uh, if they're really allied, and I think they are, for a, for a and it will be like that for a long time. <coughs> um... Arsenal and Dominari is going to be a force to be reckoned with. <clears throat> yes. Again, yes. if they are going to continue their alliance for a long time. We all know that Arsenal has been really improving since the <clears throat> you know since they started um, holding on to Kremhild Castle yes. before. And uh, with them uh, joining forces with Dominari, they are going to be hard to deal with. Mm. Especially with only uh, except with uh, for, Example for only the numbers of Last Nightmare, they could take one out. <coughs> Last Nightmare could take one out. Yes. But Dominari and Arsenal, oh, okay. of course, they are two guilds. Last Nightmare also needs to be allied with one another, uh, with, with another guild, <laughs> if they want to take out uh, the uh, the alliance between Dominari and Arsenal yes. at that time. But speaking of what's happening right now, though, Adonis yes. just quickly taking out Fratres right there. But uh, still, that Fratres is holding on. Adonis getting hit by the uh, massive uh, rolling cutters here coming from that guillotine cross. And of course, Adonis still trying to pursue this castle. Mm -hmm. While uh, Fratres, I think, is going to use that flag warp again to Ooh, quickly time. go in. But Adonis will try and <coughs> hold that for themselves so that Fratres wouldn't be able to uh, you know, defend this castle and Adonis could take it. Yes. And I think Adonis needs to go in um, as fast as they can. Um, I think they have that advantage right now to regroup on their, on, inside the castle. But mm -hmm. I think uh, Fratres is not going to contest this anymore. 
since um, most of the GX of um, Adonis is holding the uh, Imperium now. Mm -hmm. Yes, and right now though, uh, Adonis <coughs> is just going to break with the with the minstrel, just uh, <coughs> using his fists. <coughs> okay, <laughs> that's a funny thing to watch though. But anyway, uh, I'm going to check back on a uh, Skogo Castle. Oh, Fadgrid! Fadgrid! Fratis is here in Fadgrid right now. So, uh, they just quickly moved to Fadgrid after Kremhild, <coughs> after getting, uh, you know, Kremhild lost yeah. uh, to Adonis. Yep. I actually would do the same, like, if our numbers are not that, like, um, doesn't match with other guilds, I would really just jump in and change castles right away. Mm -hmm. It's actually more practical than, you know, keep on contesting and losing fights. So I think uh, yes. Fratres is doing the right thing. Um, they're just playing objectively. Mm -hmm. And uh, if Fratres really wants to take a castle for <coughs> themselves, I think that would be a good, good option as well. We have uh, different guilds uh, defending their own respective castles. Yeah. Goons in Scarlet Palace. Uh, as what we saw earlier, Fratres in Fadgrid. Yeah. Adonis, I'm not sure. Maybe they're not really planning on defending. Maybe. Okay, so they are going to defend. But uh, they are going to take it hostage, maybe? That's why they're defending this right now. Yeah. Or they're just going to break this. Of course, they're, they have two guilty cross um, just attacking the Imperium. And wow. yes, Castle will go to their possession right there. I was hit by a big weapon. Good luck to all guilds, said Carl. <coughs> Genetic from Adonis wearing mob scarf. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, a lot of uh, players are aiming for that mob scarf. And uh, we will actually get more into that later on. Mm -hmm. But the egg contents, though. Ooh. The the egg wait, contents wait, the, will be... The Discord uh, talk about the egg. Like, egg reveal. Egg reveal, <laughs> yeah. I forgot uh, the, the user, uh, the Discord user who said that. Uh, a lot of them actually. Yeah. <laughs> they've been they've been tagging Kai from time to time. Kai, I, mm. <laughs> like Kai, like Kai is replying like what? <laughs> yeah. All right. So, <laughs> speak. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, oh, it, that's funny. Yeah, it's kind of funny to hear, but you know the egg contents uh, for uh, the new egg though, Ooh. so we can actually show it right now. <laughs> there you go. Okay. It's so we had a new egg that got revealed <laughs> last Thursday. So it's it's the moonlit egg, and it's now available in the, available in the cash shop. You can obtain special items like sealed Dracula card, mm -hmm. shadow equipment box, and the costume rotating gear. Mm. All right, did I say that correctly? Yeah. All right, yeah, I said that correctly. <laughs> and it will all last only until the 29th of. September, and you can see that mob scarf right there. A lot of players are aiming for that one. Oh, this one, the, the mob scarf. Yeah, all right. No, 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 the, the mob scarf in the the banner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. A lot of players are aiming <laughs> for that one. Goons, yeah, goons are in Scarlet Palace right now, though, and uh, they're holding that castle really well. And uh, your Brigar. Uh, where Dominar is at, and uh, Skogol Arsenal is there, and uh, Valgrid maybe Fratres. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think Fratres is in Valgrid. So <laughs> I'm going to check out different castles as well. But yeah, your Brigard though, your Brigard. Dominari has been holding that uh, since the start of the session, I think. <laughs> the pubs, oh my god. There you go. Alright. So, Nushwanstein though, Nonsense is here in Nushwanstein. So, actually, let me, let me just check. Nonsense is the castle holder of Nushwanstein right now. And uh, we have guilds popping up like Cancer. Uh, they were there mm -hmm. since last Saturday. Yeah. So, 
I haven't seen much of them, so they're probably just a single man guild just trying to break a castle though. <clears throat> Again, um, this is actually one of the, the good things about having like multiple castles open. Um, small guilds can take advantage of it and um, you know, maybe they can build their small eco on that one as well. You know? Mm-hmm. Yes, and I'm not sure where Nemesis Armada is at right now. Because earlier though, they had a good hold on Kremhild Castle. I'm not sure how they got uh, eliminated right there. So they're probably at a different spot. <coughs> Gondu conquered by Opus Dei. I'm not sure what castle the, uh, these guilds are defending right now since we only have... Around 22 minutes left in our current session. Yeah. So we could uh, probably put out our uh, promotions right now though, MG. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay. Okay, since uh, you can actually scout for uh, up, uh, the players while I yep. push out our promotions. But, okay, so uh, I'm going to now explain to you guys the events and the updates that happened in uh, the ROGGH. So first is... The Pouring Island event. Okay, MG. There you go. Okay, this is now the Pouring Island event. <clears throat> uh, it got blocked by the code right there. But anyway, Pouring Island can be accessed up to three times per day and resets at four daily. Okay, so first entry is free, while second and third entry requires one and two Pouring Island entry <clears throat> ticket, respectively. Pouring Island entry tickets can be bought from the cash for shop. Players will be transported out at every sharp hour, so do not enter during then. So, uh, example is 12 a.m., 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m., and so on and so, so forth. There's also a roulette show triggered every even hours. So that's 2 a.m., 4 a.m., uh, 6 p.m., 8 p.m., etc. And you'll be able to obtain exclusive costumes such as costume rainbow pouring hat and cost consumables through this event. So uh, the only advice that I can give you is to enter probably at uh, 01. So 1201, 101, uh, 201, something, something like that. <laughs> right? Yeah. Right, MG? To, yeah, of course. To maximize, <laughs> to maximize the uh, the time of entry. Yeah, okay. yeah. It's the, to maximize your time in <clears throat> Pouring Island. Yes. And, uh, yeah, it will cost some tickets. So, you can buy it from the Cathra shop. Again, first entry is free. Second one, you need one ticket. Third entry requires two tickets. <clears throat> okay. And, uh... Uh, what do you call this? Uh, pouring Island entry ticket costs 150 Kafra points each. Okay. Uh, aside from the Pouring Island event, <clears throat> of course, we had a uh, costume synthesis box update. So, head costume synthesis box is available through Gacha Egg. And you can get consumables and limited time costume Seraph Wing Helm from it. Costume Synthesis Box, on the other hand, the chances to obtain Costume Frozen Crystal Wings and Costume Waterbender from Consumable Synthesis Box is increased from the patch update last Thursday. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> okay, so, uh... Yeah, so, uh, as we are, um, watching nonsense right there, later on, uh, in a bit, after I drink my water, <laughs> we're going to explain the god items. Okay? Yeah, that's gonna be a tough one, guys. Like James is very keen on researching. Like when we uh, no, that that the quest only though. Oh, the, the quest. quest. I thought you're gonna explain how to get it. Like I'm, I'm no, gonna, uh, that's I'm a little bit of a uh, pen and paper to write it down. We we already have a guide for it. It's already yeah, in the I website. Know. You can click on the link in the pinned <laughs> comment. You can check it out there. It's already there. Um, all you need to do is to click on the link over there in the pinned comment area. Uh, anyway. <laughs> okay. So, uh, as what we've been mentioning since the start of the stream, the God Items uh, Quest Update. Uh, it was uh, updated last Thursday, so God Items can now be uh, crafted. Ooh. There are four seals. Seal of Snape near. 
Megging Jard, uh, Brising Gamen, and Mjolnir. When all four seal quests are completed, the players can create the god item. Do note, only one player can enter the room and for 10 minutes only. Alright. Okay. okay, so... Um, like, uh, I think it was Gabriel who mentioned it earlier. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you need a guild leader that is quick, like Sura, Genetic, or anyone <coughs> with high movement speed, a uh, Rune Knight, or probably a Royal Guard, mm -hmm. to craft those uh, to god, god items, so yes. you can get the most out of it. Alright, so uh, the effects of uh, god items, you can check it out in Discord as well, and it's in the <coughs> pinned comment. Okay, so you can just scroll <coughs> down for a bit as you check it out. So like uh, I'm going to explain one item that I remember, like making jard. <laughs> oh, well. The making jard gives um st 40 strength, 40 base strength. Okay. Then for every five levels you get one strength. So at max level you get a total of 75 strength, and you get bonus That's... damage to uh, boss monsters as well. Okay, so you can uh, get. You can read on the effects <laughs> of the god items there. Yeah. I think that's gonna be really like um, tough to craft. Especially with the stats. <laughs> especially with the battles though, LG. Wait, question. If I'm, I'm, question. Hmm. If, if I'm gonna have like one god item on my gunslinger, guys, like what god item should I have? <laughs> <laughs> on your gunslinger? <laughs> Uh, but but I think you, you you'll probably get the slave near. Oh. Uh, either the slave near or the brising gamen. I think <clears> is good for you. But uh, it's probably the slave near. The, if you the can Brissingham get a god is, item. Is, oh, what's that? Is that? It's like the... uh, you can you you get uh, uh, one of all stats. I think. Oh, okay. Um, Great. next in yeah. uh block. I think you get luck as well and agi. I think that's going to be more useful for you, but the uh, additional effect of Brissing Gaman, you won't get any use for it. So I think the Slave Near will be the best option if you're going to use it for a Gunslinger. Mm. And, uh, yeah, that's only. <coughs> okay, guys, time only to form a guild. Let's go. I'm, gonna, I'm recruiting now. <laughs> Let's but, go. you know, in order for you to craft a god item, you need to go through a lot. Again, these guilds are fighting for the chance to get an item in War of Imperium. Can they make any exemption not to hit me, like, to get the 100 ether? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no? I think you won't get any, you won't get anything from the players right there, since uh, they're all eager like, I'm into gonna, crafting god items. Dude, I won't, like, really defend it. I'm just gonna go out on my castle and just pop. Please don't hit my castle. <laughs> I, I, I don't think you can even break an Imperium though. Oh, dude. I'm gonna I think it'll, I'm gonna, it'll I'm gonna take you recruit, more than two bro. hours to break an Imperium. I'm gonna so. recruit uh, Primrose, Vadra. Uh, I'm gonna build a solid lineup <laughs> around me. Primrose, do you agree? You want to go with I'm MG? I'm gonna get Primrose. Primrose, Archbishop, Vadra as my front line, and I'm gonna go for the mid line. Okay, it's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> With my Gatling gun. Okay, okay, okay. You, uh, okay, so you're going to use a Gatling gun instead of a revolver. I think that will be better option to break. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah. we have your shout outs here. Shout out to uh, Pawn Chicks, Supreme Commander of Arsenal, said Renee. Yes, I agree with you, Michelle. It's really, really hard. Yeah. Come on, I dude. drug holy water. Support uh, yeah. anyone. Wanna join my my guild? holy water is right here. Join my guild, guys. Come on. <laughs> type one, guys. Type one in uh, in the chat. Join my guild. Let's go. Type one. Yeah, type two if you want to join mine with a uh, yeah, decent type one. third job characters. Wait, what? What's with the emphasis of third job characters? <laughs> 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 That's mean, bro. <laughs> type but, one, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One guild. for a gunslinger guild. Yeah. Two for a. Uh, uh, a star gladiator. <laughs> <laughs> me too. A star gladiator gu uh, guild for me. All right. Yeah, 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 you yeah, go yeah. with your guns here. Yeah. Right, anyway, let's go. Uh, said Edison right here. You need this late near so you can get back 
as soon as possible after being gunslinger mind. Uh, yeah, I agree with you. Because you get more movement speed if you have a sleep near. And uh, yeah, MG. Yeah. Uh, your favorite promotion? Can you actually yeah. introduce that to our uh, viewers right here? <laughs> of course, definitely. Okay. Let um, me just go. My uh, pause this. Okay, guys. Everyone, listen up. Okay, this is the prom <laughs> this is the promotion. Hi, right, guys. So. From September 1 to September 30th, guys, uh, recharge your GNJOY account via Racer Gold Wallet and get um, in game items such as Rabbit Hopping or Vasilodge Necklace costume for free. Yep. So, for September promotion, uh, you will be getting the following, guys. So, for tier 1, guys, 5000 KP with Razor Gold Wallet, you can actually score a Rabbit Hopping costume. And for our tier 2 guys, that's gonna be 30,000 KP total of uh, top up. Um, you can actually uh, score a Vasilodge necklace, guys. So make sure to take advantage of this promotion, guys. Again, this promotion is, uh, started uh, September 1 to, uh, and it will end on the September 30th, guys. So make sure to take advantage of this. And if you need more information, make sure to join our Discord and. Check for more details on our Facebook page. There you go. All right. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, I okay. got one. I got one, bro. Gabriel, oh. okay. Let's go. Let's go, bro. Okay. 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 Uh, yeah. Michelle, you just dive to join MGL. <laughs> Michelle, okay. after, you're, you're... after after shock, let's go. Where is after shock? Like I've been seeing them conquer different castles, though. But after shock, yeah. Been we haven't them. seen them for the time being. And Nitrate just conquered Fat Grid as well. Oh. And Swan Hill has been conquered by Sword. Okay, so maybe you can go through those castles. Maybe you can check it out. <clears throat> Fat Grid. Alright. Fat, uh, Fat Grid and Swan Hill. Alright. Uh, MG Awesome Guild Name Reveal. <laughs> What's going to be your guild name if you create a guild MG? Hmm. I want something like dominating, you know. So I'm gonna. Any suggestions are uh, are <laughs> accepted, right. guys. So if you have any suggestion for my new guild, for a War of Imperium guild, guys, uh, just put it on the comment section, and I would really love to uh, read them, or even send me a message, you know, on Discord <laughs> as well. I'm active on Discord. Speaking of guild, though. <laughs> Um, I remember the first guild that I made that I really tried to take care of. Okay, okay. <laughs> but I'm not <laughs> going to mention the name because uh, it's inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah. So again. Yeah. Oh, what's the uh, other one packet? And... Uh, Swan Hill. Swan Hill. Sw Sword just conquered Swan Hill though. And Scarlet Palace Adonis? Really now? I <laughs> thought Goons was defending Scarlet Palace earlier, so they actually uh, pushed Goons out of uh, Scarlet Palace Adonis. <clears throat> They're not. Okay. Maybe maybe they are going to defend the defense spot. But earlier though, as I scouted Scarlet Palace, uh, Goons was holding the the castle. Though. <clears throat> yeah, the the entrance actually. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, don't forget the Kami KP costumes. Uh, yeah. Just uh, stay updated. <laughs> <laughs> if there will be upcoming uh, Kafra Point costumes, just make sure to stay tuned, and uh, <clears throat> you know the updates in Discord <clears throat> and on the Facebook as well. Make sure to follow the page. Yeah. So you get up to date information about what's happening in the future updates as well yes and please watch for the uh, guild recruitment tab on the screen as well because i'm gonna be posting something there soon so <laughs> if you guys are looking for a new competitive casual fk grinding guild i think this that's the guild for you yeah <laughs> and uh all right uh since uh <clears throat> what do you call this edison just mentioned it <clears throat> 
Okay, so uh, we have a KP consumption event that's coming up. Yeah. All right. So that will be on the 22nd of September <laughs> until yeah. the 28th. And uh, <clears throat> you can get more items out <clears throat> of uh, your Kafra point consumption. Okay, that's <laughs> that's all I can say for now. <laughs> It's in Discord, so make sure to check it out under in-game promotions. <coughs> uh, so make sure to join the ROGGH Discord, guys. <laughs> so Gabriel said we'll consider joining if MG's guild will have very cool, intimidating. It's gonna be. <laughs> really dude, it's gonna be intimidating. Like it's very unique. It's one of a kind name. Like people will definitely transfer to that guild. <laughs> <coughs> Money guild, <laughs> <laughs> dude. Uh, come on, that's MG. That's MG, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Talking about money. Oh what's my that, what's, the, what's the meme? We kilo money. Uh, I'm not sure, you guys, if you know that, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you're seeing. Uh, so we're just trying <laughs> to find different castles right now. Here in Kremhill, we we do have an a Kagero. We do have a Kagro Wait, just what? hopping with that halter though. But uh, just check at different castles. Um, no one's actually here. It's just a Kagro using that halter. Okay, so since we only have 7 minutes left, <clears throat> guilds are just now settling down. Actually, they've been settling down since uh, around the 20 minute mark yes. of our, or the last 20 minute. 20 minute mark for Warf Imperium <clears throat> session for tonight. Mm -hmm. And if you are really eager to craft those god items, you will do everything that you can. Like how, <laughs> um, you know, Dominari and Arsenal are defending <clears throat> their own respective castles. Last Nightmare, just uh, trying to pursue a castle of their own, just trying to break uh, the defense of several castles. <clears throat> and uh, I like how Last Nightmare was really working on, on their yes. offensive prowess. They've been trying to attack Skogul Castle since earlier. And uh, not only Arsenal was the defender, but Dominari was there as well. Yes. So that made it harder for uh, Last Nightmare's pursuit of this castle. <clears throat> okay, so MG's new kill will be something random like Cheese Bread. <laughs> Uh, okay, so if you're going to name your guild Cheese Bread, I'm going to name my guild like Like what's our ice name? Cream if, if my name or is, something. Our, our guild is Cheese Bread, like, like What? I mean like if we're gonna name our guild like Cheese Bread like do I need uh, do I need to rename my character's name or No, it's just going to be a guild, you just need an Imperium. <laughs> I think that's, that doesn't like I mean it doesn't look good, like Cheese Bread man uh Cheese bread captured something or sacred palace in Bandar okay. 4 is captured. Gab by so Gabriel, Gabriel, your 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 guild name suggestion is invalid invalidated by MG now. <laughs> 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 All right. So uh, he was just. I think Gabriel was just saying that if ever you're going to create a guild, it's just going to be something like a random name. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So. Mm, yeah, if you're going to name your guild something random, <laughs> the guild like, name will be something random. <laughs> Le legit, that's oh, that's the guild name, all right. And yeah, we've been seeing castle or rather players right now, guilds right now, conquer several castles. So I think uh, most <laughs> castles there were undefended. I hope sword will finally be able to take a castle of their own as well for this session since uh, uh we've been seeing them or we've been seeing vadrak just try to survive in a warf imperium mm -hmm. but now he has a companion yeah <laughs> he oh, has dude, someone I'm gonna to recruit that guy like yeah, you have someone to play right now in warf imperium like, right? everyone, the... like everyone is going to support him and that's it that's that's the that's the plan all support, okay. all heals on him. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so something competitive and casual if you're going to make a guild. Competitive, but 
yeah, if you if you want to if you want MG's guild like a uh, gunslinger guild versus the Star Gladi guild, in my head. but you you you'll like, probably win imagine, that. Like, the look you'll, you'll probably win that though because gunslinger has more offensive prowess and it's fit more on <clears throat> for the PVP battle. Yeah, Star Gladiator is more on for PVM. Yeah, actually. Uh... While we're talking about the guilds and so on, I'm actually trying to strategize how are we gonna defend it versus Dominari and Arsenal or Last Night here. Uh, with our numbers. Well, in my opinion, though, if you are going to try mm -hmm. and um, defend against the offense of uh, Dominari, mm -hmm. again, we all know that Dominari has a um, ridiculous amount of players yeah. on their side. So you need to have more offensive firepower. Yeah. That's for one. Uh, and uh, next, you need a lot of decent equipment that you won't get wiped out. Especially with the uh, Dominari using um, some quick pushes, using those Guya puddings to just quickly push in. You need to have a lot of yeah. um, delaying skills, like some vacuums, some manholes. Probably use ankle snares just for the little bit of delay, and so that they won't really get into your stack immediately. Uh, you need a lot of ground control players, uh, so probably some suras that are focused more onto using that Yuritin fist and gates of hell, so that you can get more firepower and some uh, some defensive um, players as well. Like uh, you need more archbishops. You need more sorcerers, of course, for mm -hmm. offense and defense. Uh, you need more, what do you call this, uh, suras for that curse circle. So it will all depend on your roster as well. Because with only a small number, I think it's going to be hard for you to defend against Dominari. Yeah. Since uh, Dominari has been really, really powerful, especially in their offense. Aside from their numbers, you, 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 they can re-strategize uh, accordingly um, depending on the defense that they saw that their opponent is doing. So for example, uh, they have two classical plucks on the floor. Uh, they would just quickly use a different strategy. So probably have their tanky members go in first with a lot of consumables <laughs> on hand. Just soaking up all the damage that uh, their opponent is uh, you know pushing onto them yeah then use their um back lane or their damage dealers after that classical plug yes. got eliminated yes so that's All gonna right. be a really tough one to build guys but again i'm saying well guys seriously I'm, I'm serious about making a competitive casual kill <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, yeah. so hit me a DM on Discord and maybe we can start it maybe tomorrow. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. Yeah. MG's uh, own uh, gunslinger guild. But yeah, what uh, interesting. What an interesting Warf Imperium mm -hmm. for tonight. We've seen guilds uh, mm -hmm. just uh, hole up on a castle for uh, this session, like uh, Dominari, Arsenal. <clears throat> It's kind of uh, different to see those guilds, uh, you know, just a hole up in their single castle because we've been used to seeing them push uh, several castles at the same time. Yes. Both uh, Dominari and Arsenal. But um, yeah, Last Nightmare is improving in terms of their their offense since uh, their offense won't be the same as the last as the first time they did it. So they are probably gonna make. A uh, little bit of adjustment in their Definitely. roster so that they can, uh, you know, uh, improve their firepower <clears throat> and offensive. So I think um, guilds will need to make their own adjustments in every situation. And I like how <clears throat> our guilds are improving every session. Adonis right now could hold, uh, could stand on their own yes. against uh, other guilds, but again, Dominari is really hard to deal with. So. Uh, yeah, I I understand why Adonis will have a hard time against uh, yeah. Dominari. But to be fair, they did really, really good on, on the first half. Like, yeah, but they did great against Purple Dominari, though. Yeah, I agree. Mm. Mm. 
And yeah, MG, thoughts on this War for Berry session? Well, <clears throat> again, we're still. I'm still curious about the. What do you call this? The. Guns the seals. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the seals, right? We're talking about the seals. So. Um, I'm not sure if we're gonna see the same st um, same gameplay on the next War of Imperium. Or, uh, the, there's a lot of questions still um, to be an that needs to be answered. Like, are are they trying to make a god item now, or are they just you know just roaming around and just trying to defend or forcing Last Nightmare to fight them? We don't mm -hmm. know yet. I mean, there's no like clarity on it yet, right? But mm -hmm. definitely the fights was really good. Um, we're seeing multiple castles uh, that's been getting contested from time to time. We saw uh, huge fights. We saw medium uh, medium fights as well, which is really nice. Um, and the technicalities of uh, defending, the same time on the offense as well. Um, yeah, it's it's a really nice War of Imperium, and I think I learned a lot as well. Um, coming from the big guilds on how to defend certain spots. And how to take advantage on certain spots as well. So yeah, I think that's a, it's yes. a really nice War of Imperium. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, that's going to be it for tonight's War of Imperium session. <clears throat> and it has been a fruitful, fruitful one for a lot of guilds yeah. uh, since uh, they managed to conquer different castles as well. Shout outs to everyone in the chat. Thanks for you know tuning in, and you you all are great for today, right? <laughs> Hopefully in the next session though. Hopefully yes, in the next session all of you will comment down like. once again. So we have some uh, bit of comments here like. before we end. Some laughs coming from Tanya. Good well, <laughs> good game well played. Nice casting. <clears throat> Thanks Michelle. Um the chosen guild name MG will give a reward. Yeah. Okay, so that's a rough translation <laughs> Primrose said. But anyway, before yeah. I embarrass myself more. <laughs> anyway, Thank let's talk Michelle. about oh, it Primrose. in the next session. Again, War of Imperium is every Saturday and Tuesday, 9 to 11 p.m. GMT plus 8. 7v7 GVG is almost oh. coming. So make sure you stay tuned for yeah, more guys. updates about that. And yes, <clears throat> once again, we are your casters. My name is James. And my name is MG. And we'll see you guys in the next session. Bye, guys.